this incident particularly not it didn't just impact Cal OBS. It impacted the state of California. It impacted dance safety at a national and worldwide level. Um, to say the least, dam safety changed that day because the potential um, for consequences um, was so great that we had to really start rethinking how we uh, how we committed um, the you know the agency in the state to, to dam safety. Uh, we had never had a spillway that had the potential to to really inundate such a large area. Governor Brown at the time, after looking at the state of our dam safety program, which at the time was rated the, the, the number one dam safety program in the nation. Um, obviously, um, in the assessment that occurred, um, saw that there was things that we could do better. And one of those key things that we identified uh, as, as something that, that California could improve upon is specifically emergency action plans. Previous to the Oroville incident, there was no requirement for any state jurisdictional dam to actually have developed um, an emergency action plan at all. And soon after, uh, the, the, the California legislature made it a requirement for all state jurisdictional dams to, um, to submit an emergency action plan to Cal OES um, within a certain amount of time based on the classification that they are deemed, their hazard classification. And not only does it need to be submitted to Cal OES, it needs to be submitted for approval. So we not only took a step forward, we took three steps forward by being one of the few states that not, that not only has the requirement to submit an, an emergency action plan, also known as an EAP, but also have an emergency management uh, agency review and approve said plan. So as part of Senate Bill 92, um, the establishment of the dam safety program at Cal OBS um, really took hold. Uh, we were charged with not only the development of the emergency action planning program in Cal OES, but the greater um, responsibility and mission of uh, uh, assisting in, in, in being a part of dam safety in California. Um, this establishment of this division um, brought forth a lot of resources that were critical in the establishment of the unit that helped us to to be able to eventually review the over 1,250 approximate dams that, are, that fall under the jurisdiction of this law. Ultimately, the dam safety program and division was born out of that uh, Senate Bill 92 uh, here at Cal OBS and has hit the ground running, not only reviewing hundreds of emergency action plans, but also approving uh, hundreds of plans in that process.